Hello, this is Crazy Flying Chicken. The primary purpose of this video is to get you to level 15 as fast as possible. There are a lot of options in the progression tree, as you can see, so surely there must be an optimized method to reach the first level of ships unlock ship unlocks that is both quick and does not require the use of hero ships. Contained within this video is what I believe is the best path, and why. When you first access the game you will be quickly faced with a decision. There are five ships with which you can buy at level 1. There is the Invictus, the Fulgora, the Aeon, the Nox, and the Gora. So the very first ship you're going to want to buy is called the Nox, and this is the Light Sniper. The reason you want to buy this is because of the Bomb Catapult. What the Bomb Catapult allows you to do is it gives you the widest uh, target profile of all the ships available at the start of the game. The Bomb Catapult itself is good at killing Dreadnoughts, Destroyers, and Healers. What it is is basically a short-range shotgun nuke. What it does is the closer you are, the more damage it's going to do to your opponent. Like you can see here, even at 4 kilometers, it's going to do a pretty hefty amount of damage to this Dreadnought, but at 2 kilometers, like we just saw with the healer, it's going to just basically destroy any target that gets too close. Again, you can see it here with the Destroyer. A good three, or 2.5 kilometers away knocks off half of its health, no problem. So the Bomb Catapult is a very strong tool, very good at helping you deal with the targets that you would not normally be able to deal with in a light sniper, such as the Nox. So with the Bomb Catapult able to engage the larger targets, the Nox itself is very good at killing Corvettes, which tend to be a favorite of newer players. The weapon itself is almost a hit-scan weapon with how fast it shoots, so you can knock Corvettes out of the sky fairly easily. For the fourth slot, I've also chosen the Dive Maneuver because it allows you to get out of danger really quickly, since the one weakness of the Sniper is its ability to descend quickly. So already we can see the Nox is able to effectively kill any other class's ship, and it's only the first ship you can buy. In addition to this, the Nox is incredibly fast. Like you can see here, you can get under attack by a lot of different targets and have almost no difficulty getting away, getting to range, getting into cover, just like this, and finding favorable positions in order to get the most points. So here are the results of the first few games that I played in the closed beta, and you can see that I've got the highest score out of all of my team by far. What this allows me to do is to get the most experience in order to level up as fast as I possibly can. So the next ship you're going to want to buy is the Aeon at level 6, and the reason you want to wait for level 6 is because you'll get the repair auto beams. What this allows you to do is to repair your teammates at an exceptional rate and give you a lot of points for healing multiple teammates at once. Now it's an important fact that you need to know that you have to be close to your targets in order to heal them for the maximum amount. The closer you are, the more you'll heal, the more points you'll get. So get close. A good synergy you should also know is the beam amplifier. One of the side effects of using it, even though you get to heal your teammates for a lot of health, like you can see here, it, put, it drains all of your energy. So what you can use is the energy generator, which is your fourth slot module, to help replenish that energy after you've used the beam amplifier. This way you can continue to move closer to your teammates and boost power to weapons to heal them for more. One final point is, of course, you can use the beam amplifier in a hostile manner to, cor to kill corvettes that are coming into you. So once again, here are a couple of the games that I was playing at early on. You can see again that I'm consistently top of the team. Even though I'm not getting any kills, I'm getting a ton of points, which is leveling me up faster. So the third and final ship you're going to want to buy is the Fulgora. The reason you're going to want to buy them at level 9 is because this is when you get the Drain Torpedo. It is an exceptional torpedo that drains a target's energy, which opens them up to all sorts of attacks. Draining their energy will prevent them from putting up their shields, which lets you put your energy to weapons in order to finish them off quickly. The Fulgora does suffer from one key weakness, though, and that is that it's not very good at killing other corvettes. This is why I would not recommend buying this as your first ship. A lot of new players will play the Corvette, which means that this Fulgora is actually at a disadvantage against them. It's also quite slow relative to the Trader Corvette, which is why we fitted it out with Blink Warp. This allows us to get around the map more quickly in order to get in on as many kills as possible to increase our experience gain. So these are my three suggestions for the first three ships you should buy. You should first start with the Nox because of its wide mission profile. Second, move to the Aeon because you'll get a lot of points for healing your team. And third, you'll move into this Corvette. The reason you'll want it over the Zimmy, which is the Dreadnought, or the Goro, which is the Destroyer, is because it allows you to be competitive without relying on your teammates. A Corvette doesn't need a healer in order to be successful. You get in, you get out, and your health is so low that you can passively regenerate it even without the use of a healer just by hiding behind a wall. The Zimmy and the Gora are both very good ships, it's just if you have to rely on somebody in order to heal you, then you're not going to get a consistent score at the end of every game. 
So thank you very much for watching my guide. I would really appreciate it if you guys liked and subscribed to the channel because it's the only way I know if these videos are getting any traction. It takes a lot of work to film them and a lot of time to edit them. So knowing that you guys are enjoying them will encourage me to make more. My in-game name is Crazy Flying Chicken, and you can always leave a comment in the fields below, or you can message me in-game, or you can find me on Discord. Be happy to talk to you guys, and I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Thanks again for watching.